Welcome to our Future Gators Q&A for high school seniors and their family members. My name is Kristen Turquinio and I am in the Communications Department at EGCC and I'm here today with Tiffany Fraunapple from Enrollment Services. Hi everyone. We just wanted to jump in here and um, kind of go over some of the most frequent questions we get asked a lot through social media. I work a lot with um, our high school students and our high school seniors, CCP, and students who are just unsure of where they kind of want to finish um, and what their next path is. So this Q&A is just to kind of go over some general information, some of our most frequently asked questions, and hopefully, you know, kind of answer some questions you guys may have. Yes. So I'm going to kick it off with one of the questions we get the most on social media which is when should I apply for college? So the biggest thing there is um, we have a rolling application. So applications are always open, enrollment's always open for each semester. Um, the best time, because you guys are seniors, would have been or can be fall. And really anytime, you, if you have not applied yet, if you're still on the fence, you can still complete that application and be able to start our summer semester or our fall semester. Yeah, so if you haven't applied yet, don't panic. Um, we still have, um, you can apply up until the first week of classes, but we always encourage everyone to get enrolled way sooner than that because classes really start filling up at the end of June. So we'll have people come in in July and August and they might not be able to get in the classes they need because those ones are already filled up. So um, we encourage you if you have not applied yet to get on that. Um, and you can do that online. And also one more note, our application is free. So you can fill that out. If you are having trouble online, feel free to reach out to us and we're gonna provide all those phone numbers and emails um, and we can get you um, going in the right direction and help you out with that. So how much is tuition? That is another question we hear a lot. So our tuition is currently, it's $131 a credit hour for Jefferson County residents. And then it's $137 for our surrounding counties. So that would be like Harrison, Belmont, um, Columbiana, Mahoning, Trumbull, just some of the surrounding counties to our campus. And we do also um, have our financial aid department. So they would be able to help with any questions in terms of any other grants that you could qualify for, financial aid services and student loans. And we can provide that number at the end also. Yes. And something that we'd love to talk about at Eastern Gateway is the Horizon and Gateway grants. They let our high school seniors that are graduating with a 2.5 or higher go completely tuition free to Eastern Gateway Community College. So um, that is, you have to start the fall after you graduate. So you technically could use those, the Horizon Grant in the summer, but it does have to be 12 credits or more. And we tend to see students take um, less classes in the summer. So it would typically start the fall after you graduate and it's good for four consecutive semesters, which is two years of college. Um, free. So you just have to stay above 12 credit hours um, and you have to keep your, your grade point average up just to keep that horizon grant. But it's a wonderful opportunity for students to start college, um, either get their associate degree or be on the way to getting a degree or starting a bachelor's and not go into debt. So we love the Horizon and Gateway Grant. And that covers, um, the Horizon Grant is Jefferson County. The Gateway Grant is Columbiana, Trumbull, and Mahoning. So um, something else that we want to note too is that if you are a, we have the union um, scholarship. So if you are a family member or you are in the union or you're a family member of a union, whether you're the, the son, the daughter, the cousin, the grandkid, um, you can go completely free under the um, union scholarship, which is a wonderful opportunity for our students to go um, free as well. And that covers our in-seat programs as well as our online programs. Yeah, and what's nice about that is that is whenever we say free, it covers tuition, books, and fees for most programs. There are a few that do have some outside fees, but the union team, um, they would be able to tell you that, and it's minimal fees. And like Kristen said, it's a great opportunity to help with any program that we have on campus. Yes. Um, a, a good question that I wanted to ask you about was, what is the difference between a certificate program and our degree programs? So our certificate programs are just that one year, two to three semesters, depending on the program you're looking at, and that helps you get right into the workforce or um, kind of enhance a current program you may already have a degree in. 
and, um, and then our associate's degree is more our two-year programs, and those can be used for either going straight into the workforce or transferring into a bachelor's program. So our, for example, like our nursing or radiology program, those are two years that would put you right into a um, job position. Or if you wanted to come from one of our transfer programs, that would help you set up to transfer into a four-year institution for your bachelor's degree. Yes, and something we want to note too is we also have workforce programs. They are not on our credit side, which um, Tiffany just touched on our certificates and our degrees, but we also um, have a workforce non-credit side that has jobs that are even quicker. So the certificate programs usually are one year and then you'll see the associate degree be the two year, but the workforce programs are weeks to months. So they um, jumpstart you into career even faster. They are just not under the um, college credit. So the Horizon Grant, might not be something that would work for that. Well, it won't be something that works for that, but they do have other funding options available. So that is a pathway that a lot of students um, need to know about, whether it's CDL um, class A or B trucking, we have um, welding, we also have farm tech, phlebotomy, um, medical coding, and some of these programs are on both sides. So you can kind of see if you want to do the college credit route or if you want to do the non-credit and do it quicker. So that is something to keep in mind as you are looking at Eastern Gateway. Um, another good question, what kind of programs does EGCC offer? So we offer everything from your health programs to your STEM programs and then in between. So we have welding, engineering um, with a mechanical focus, with an electrical focus, drafting and design, electrical electronics. And then our health programs, we have the hands-on. So your nursing, respiratory therapy, radiology, um, dental assisting, and then also some to note are like the, I want to say behind the scenes type medical programs where I don't want to be completely hands-on, but still be in that field. So that would be like our health information management degree, medical coding, medical scribe certificates, and patient home navigator. Yeah, there's a lot of programs and we could go on and on about them because we love our programs, but um, there's something for everyone. I know we have um, interactive digital media. If you are a gamer, a web developer, or a graphic designer, that program is perfect for you. And something that we love about EGCC too is we have um, different programs and different classes for every student. So if you are someone who likes hands-on, like Tiffany mentioned, we have that. But then we also have like the IT and the interactive digital media that could be maybe an online or blended where you have some classes that are in seat. We have criminal justice. We have the police academy. There, there really is um, teacher education, business management. So there, there really is a ton of um, programs that we want our students to know about. So we will put those links in at the end so you can check out um, all of our programs that we might not have time to talk about today. So um, the next thing I wanted to go over is the steps to enroll. How do, we, how do they get started? Okay, so what we can do is everything is online. So you can go online to our website and it's just the egcc.edu. And then on the drop downs underneath or on, on the main page, there's drop downs and you'll wanna do the admissions tab. And that will take you straight to the link to apply as a new student. It's all electronic, it submits. And that also will give you um, the information where to send your transcripts to. And also there would be um, placement testing and setting an appointment with a, advisor once you kind of meet all of those admissions, the application, the transcripts, and any placement testing you may need. And then it would just be meeting with one of the academic advisors to get enrolled for classes. Yeah. And a good point that just popped into my head, if you've done the ACT or the SAT, um, you probably already have testing scores. Well, you will. So they will kind of let us know where to put you into your classes. Um, we also have the AccuPlacer that's free and we can set up testing for you. Um, we'll put that information at the end of this too. But um, then we also, if you're a CCP student, you might've already taken college level English or math. Um, and we also want to note that if you are a CCP student or took classes with us through CCP, you can go ahead and just jump right into the advising appointment, which is step four, um, because you already are an Eastern Gateway student. So if there's anything else you need to do, the advisor will let you know, but most of the time you're ready to go and get set up for class. Yeah, because that will just allow us to um, change your degree path in what program you were interested in doing. Yeah, and one more thing I wanted to note, if you are a CCP student that maybe didn't earn your associate degree and are going somewhere other than Eastern Gateway, definitely do reverse transfer. You can send us your transcripts after your first semester or your first year at your um, four-year institution or the college of your choice. 
um, get those credits to come back to us because you may be able to earn your associate degree after your first or second year of college. Um, and it's a great way to show employers that, that you took college credit while you were in high school um, and earned an associate degree, then you'll get your bachelor's degree. So I always try to encourage CCP students to make sure they use that reverse transfer option. It is free in Ohio to do that. So most colleges out of state might be able to help you too. So just make sure you talk to them um, about the reverse tra transfer option to get that associate degree on your resume and you know get the credit for classes you took. Yeah. So, Anything else you can think of that um, high school seniors might need to know? I know we covered a lot. <laughs> One thing is, I know we mentioned we give phone numbers. So like for any financial aid questions or even that union, if you want more information on that end of things, um, they can be contacted. It's 1-888-590-9009. And then option two puts you to financial aid, which also will answer union benefit questions. And then for our advising um, information and our advising team, that phone number is 740-264-5591 and then it's extension 1500 will put you to the emissions page or to the emissions department. Yes. And so we will put links at the end of this. So you will get to go through and kind of, if you want to reach out to any of the departments we talked about, whether it's financial aid, we're going to put our Steubenville enrollment services, our Youngstown enrollment services, um, and also the links to apply, to reach out um, email addresses in case you need to schedule um, placement testing, try to make this easy on you. But just so you know, we have a whole staff here that is ready to help seniors. We know this can be over overwhelming, a little daunting, and we're here to help you get comfortable with college so this becomes easier for you. So don't hesitate to call us, email us, go on the website um, and check us out. Yeah. All right, thanks so much and have a great, well, congrats on graduation and have a great spring and hopefully we'll see you at EGCC. Yes, thanks everyone for your time and we look forward to seeing you soon.